Yep, so we're back here with uh, Dr. Halliburton again at the uh, Yale School of Medicine. And um, she's just got a uh, very important uh, thing that you know, melanoma patients can actually do. You know, we're here looking at the great research that the Yale School of Medicine is doing, but uh, what the melanoma patients themselves can do to um, really help the research further. So, Dr. Halliburton, what can they do? So, uh, what, what the melanoma patient can contribute a lot for the research is one, to consent and agree that their tumor will be used for research. Uh, and then also to agree that uh, normal cells of their own that either are derived from blood or from skin can also be used for research. Because what we are doing, we are always comparing the tumor to the normal. And I was just explaining that we are doing a lot of sequencing and trying to find new mutation in melanomas, but we can never know whether those are really mutations that arose in the tumor, or maybe those are just mutations due to variability and uh, normal differences between individuals. Because actually, we have another uh, scientist here at Yale who uh, sequences uh, DNA from uh, people that are not cancer patients, and he already determined that every person goes around with at least 100, in the order of 100 different changes in their DNA that are unique, unique to the, uh, that particular person and, and not share with others. So therefore, we have to have both. We have to have the normal DNA and the tumor DNA to find out the difference. Great. And, and where are we off to now? We're actually going, going to go to the lab? We go to the lab and we'll look at melanoma cells and normal melanocytes and wow. see what we are talking about. Wow, so let's that's, go. That's um, you know, really, really important for, for melanoma patients in Australia to so maybe just take what Dr. Halliburton uh, said and you know, if you are interested in donating you know, some of your own melanoma uh, tissue to uh, research, um, you can definitely get in touch with your, um, your specialists. So that's a good thing to think about. Okay, so, so let's go to the lab.